Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. Well, we have a very special program for you today. We would like to introduce to you essential oils. We've been having so much fun working through these plant extracts, concentrated aromas of all the various plants from around the world. You know, these essential oils, they're just fun to work with. The home spirit is lifted, the mood is elevated. And you know, as you work with these essential oils, you find that the arthritis doesn't ache so much, the blood pressure is lowered a little bit, the stress melts away and my goodness I even sleep better so it'll be fun today essential oils that's our concept stick around for that but first let's go to our news let's see what's happening in the health world grass-fed cows produce more nutritious milk researchers from the University of Minnesota evaluated the milk of cows fed varying diets they found when cows are fed a diet of 100% organic grass and legume forage based food, they produce milk with 147% more health promoting omega-3s and 52% less inflammatory omega-6s. The research team tested over 1,000 herd pooled milk samples over three years. The study was published by Food Science and Nutrition. Well, this is fascinating, isn't it? Letting cows eat what they would naturally eat leads to healthier and more nutritious milk. This study was a collaborative effort by six different universities around the world. They compared the effect of feeding cows three different diets. The first was what's called the traditional feedlot diet where cows are given about 50% of their diet from forage-based foods and 50% from grains and feed concentrates. Now, none of this type of diet was organic or pesticide-free. The second diet featured 80% of their feed from forage-based feeds and 20% from grains and concentrates and the third diet the one that made such healthy milk was a 100 percent organic grass and legume forage based diet this diet the one cows would naturally seek out for themselves and the one fed to cows for centuries up until recent years this healthy diet produced milk with 0 0.05 grams omega-3s per 100 grams of milk that's 147 percent more omega-3s than the milk produced by the conventional feedlot diet and by the way, 90% of all the dairy cows in America are fed a diet that creates less healthy and more inflammatory milk. But there is more. The healthy organic forage-based diet also contains more conjugated linoleic acid, which is a unique omega-6 as it can be converted to omega-3s by probiotic bacteria in our intestinal tract. Plus, the CLA promotes dietary satisfaction and thinness. Another big advantage of feeding cows their natural food is their milk contains 52% less pro-inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, resulting in a near ideal one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3s to 6s. And finally, the cows fed an organic diet produce milk that is essentially pesticide and pollutant free. Now one last point, and it's a point the researchers did not mention. The healthier organic-based milk, well, it tastes better as well. Babies delivered by C-section or cesarean section have an altered microbiome or total body microbe content. This finding has been substantiated by multiple recent scientific studies. Researchers find C-section babies have reduced bifidobacterium, lactobacillus, and bacteroides bacteria in their mouths, intestines, and skin. Researchers from the University of Florida have found a correlation between the increase of C-section births and an increase in the incidence of autoimmune diseases such as diabetes type 1, multiple sclerosis, allergies, and asthma. They also found a direct correlation between C-section induced altered microbiome and increased autoimmune diseases. According to the Center for Disease Control, 32% of all American babies are now delivered via C-section. That's a 33% increase in C-sections in just 17 years. Related research from the University of Alberta finds if mother is overweight and delivers her baby by C-section, her child is 500% more likely to also be overweight at three years of age. They also found direct evidence that C-section induced flora alterations plays a role in baby's increased weight. This study was published by JAMA Pediatrics. Well, folks, this is a most unfortunate trend. It, it requires some explanation. When baby is born via natural childbirth, baby is exposed to a wide variety of normal bacteria that gain entrance into baby's mouth, 
respiratory tract, skin, and intestinal tract. These normal bacteria take up residence and perform many normal and vital functions. This is how it has been for thousands of years. But if a baby is born via C-section, baby is not exposed to these healthy organisms and unintended consequences may result. As our report clarifies, researchers suspect the increase of autoimmune disease and obesity in children may be due at least in part to this lack of normal probiotic bacteria transferred from mother to baby. Now I want to be very clear on this important issue. C-sections save the lives of both mother and child every day in this country. If your obstetrician and pediatrician say you need a C-section, by all means do what is necessary to better assure your and your baby's health. But after the C-section, take steps to appropriately colonize baby with healthy probiotic organisms. And how do we do that? Well, nature takes care of that as well. As we now know, if mother provides breast milk as baby's primary food source for at least the first 30 days of life, she will colonize baby with the healthy bacteria that may be missing due to C-section delivery. We can also supplement baby's diet with probiotics. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to introduce something very special. Today, we will learn about the wonderful and therapeutic world of essential oils. Stay tuned to learn more. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acids so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Heavy metal poisoning is a growing concern and it may play a role in your health. It can happen through occupational exposure or environmental pollution or both. If you work in a metal shop, a smelting plant or any type of facility that uses electroplating or welding, you may be suffering from heavy metal exposure. But those of us who live in cities may suffer from heavy metal exposure through environmental pollution. It's the number one cause of heavy metal poisoning. It can occur over a long period of exposure or it can happen after a single dose. Symptoms can be overlooked because they're symptoms of common diseases such as fatigue, memory loss, tremor, joint pain, and indigestion. These are common symptoms of heavy metal poisoning. If your health is declining and you haven't been able to figure out the underlying cause, discuss heavy metal poisoning with your doctor. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128.
Welcome back, everyone. It's great to be with you today. Today's show is going to be so exciting. We are so happy to be able to talk to you about a new topic. This is fantastic. We get to enjoy learning about the world of botanical medicine. We're going to be exploring essential oils. You're going to see how not only are these amazing and impacting your health, you can have a lot of fun doing it. Richard, isn't that one of the parts about essential oils that we both love so much is the joy they bring us? Yes, absolutely. You know, you can take a handful of supplements and there's a physiologic effect there, of course, mm -hmm. but when you put your essential oil into a diffuser or apply it to your skin and that aroma fills the room and your senses, it's immediate enjoyment or immediate soothing or alertness or whatever you're trying to achieve with mm -hmm. it. And that's very rewarding and sustaining. Right. And I, I, it's also a connection to the past traditional healing methods because the essential oils go way back, way back. And throughout history, these essential oils have been used as in a treatment for infections, for purifications, to treat trauma, treat pain, even diabetes and cardiovascular disease, stress, anxiety, depression, insomnia, even uh, anti-cancer effects. So the essential oils connect us to the past and lead us into the future. They are time tested. They are almost entirely safe and non-toxic. There are a few exceptions, but that is not among the commonly used essential oils. They're very safe. And the current world supply of essential oils provides some different, 400 different plant extracts. And they are truly are from around the world, all around the world. You know, Noni comes from Polynesia. Well, these essential oils, they come from every continent. Variety of shrubs, bushes, flowers, leaves, bark, roots, or even the seeds. The primary method to produce essential oils is steam distillation. Steam is passed through the bulk of the plant, and the steam and oily plant products aerosolize and then condense in a cooler environment and then the steam and water and the plant extract the essence of the plant uh, sits on the top of the water that's condensed and then it's skimmed off as the essential oil steam distillation of the oily plant products condenses and it's skimmed and this is the most common and in general, the best way to produce essential oils. There are a few exceptions to that, but steam distillation is generally a sign of a quality product. There's other ways to do this, and sometimes we use it. Alcohol or solvent extraction, this can be alcohol or even hexane. You take this oil-soluble product like alcohol or hexane, you let the plant sit in this uh, oil soluble uh, solvent and it releases the essence of the plant then you evaporate off the volatile solvent and then you have the essence remaining however there's a problem with this approach and that is it may concentrate contaminants pollutants and toxins and all around the world there are many pesticides that are used and we don't want to concentrate those that's something we want to avoid. But that is another method. We have steam distillations first. That's the most common and generally the best. Alcohol solvent extraction, which creates what's called an absolute. They call that an absolute. That is alcohol solvent extraction. Then we have cold pressed, hot pressed. You heat the product up. You press it out because it, as it's hot, it, it releases more of its essence. Also, they do cold pressed. Lemon peel is the most commonly used essential oil worldwide. And it is produced primarily by cold pressing. The lemonine content, is the, the primary ingredient of lemon oil, uh, lemonine, there's so much of it in the lemon peel that you don't really need to steam distill it or do solvent extract. You just press, you know, you've squeezed a lemon or an orange peel, grapefruit, and it just squirts out. Well cold press it out and you get plenty of it that way. Also carbon dioxide expression is an, another way of doing this. So we have various ways of extracting essential oils from the plant products. All methods produce a fat or oil soluble aromatic molecules that we call essential oils, the essence. There are a wide variety of these aromatic compounds. They include hydrocarbons, terpenoids, 
ethers, ketones, aldehydes, esters, lactones, phenols, polyphenols, and many, many more. And such as the aldehydes and ethers and ketones, this is what provides the aroma, the pleasing nature of these essential oils. And that's part of what's extracted. Please understand when we created an essential oil, they are highly concentrated. They're more potent than the whole herb much more potent than the whole herb. Let me give you an example. To make the essential oil rose. You know, everyone loves the smell of a rose. And the rose essential oil, it's one of the favorites in the perfume industry, isn't it, Cindy? Well, anyone who's put on a little perfume has probably had a little essential rose oil applied to their skin, right? Don't you think? Mm -hmm. 5,000 pounds of rose petal creates just two pounds of rose essential oil. Highly concentrated, 5,000 pounds resulting in just two pounds. So they are highly concentrated and they're much more potent than the whole herb, these essential oils. Since essential oils are concentrated, purity and organic sources are critically important because we can concentrate toxins and contaminants and pollutants, pesticides as well. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to inhale a pesticide. We don't want to put that on our skin. This is a major concern of ours. Purity is critical in this area. Well, let's talk a little bit about the history of essential oils. Their use, their recorded use, goes back at least 4,000 years. The ancient Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians, all of the Western civilization founders, they all use these essential oils. They use them for medical uses, religious enhancement and various rituals, purifications and anointings. The ancients had great understanding of these essential oils. You know, we often assume that those that walked the path before us didn't know as much as we do. And we do have great technological advances, but how many of us really know how this electronic device works? How many know how that electronic cell phone really works? Do you think Everybody knows that? No, we don't. But the ancients had a true reliance on nature for their medicines, for their sustainability. And they knew, I think they knew a lot more about their use than we do. Because that's what they had. They had to rely upon these plants and their essence extracted as an essential oil. The ancients had great understanding of this, and we are rediscovering this in Western civilization, and I believe this is a very good thing. These essential oils are another tool that can go into your therapeutic toolbox to help you with your health problems. Hippocrates attended lectures on essential oils in Egypt way back in the day. Hippocrates is the father of modern Western medicine, and he learned about essential oils in Egypt from the Egyptian culture. Herodotus, the Greek historian in the 484 to 425 BC, wrote of frankincense, you know, the same to the Christ child, the gift to the Christ child. Diodorus of Sicily in the first century BC wrote that the frankincense grown in the Arabian Peninsula could supply all of the world's religions with incense to burn in their temples. Early recorded references to these plants that are used for essential oils. Pliny the Elder, who lived from 23 to 79 AD, he complained in his writings that a great fortune, what a great fortune Rome spends on India's essential oils and spices. And if he went on to complain, if we could only grow them here in Rome, in Italy, we could save us millions of their dollars. Okay, so this goes way back way back, way back. And when we return from these important messages, Cindy, let's talk a little bit about the biblical references to the essential oils used as anointings and gifts and purifications. This is really interesting. We'll have that when we return. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. 
Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. More and more people suffer from asthma. One cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. A fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers and eggplant yogurt, ginger, turmeric, and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, learning about the marvels of nature essential oils. We learned the history. This is quite interesting, isn't it? So, Richard, that was great. And I love yeah. hearing about going way back right. to Hippocrates. So that brings us to biblical times. Absolutely. Which at that time was the modern era. Yes, it were was. Were biblical oils... Let's talk about those. Let's do. There are uh, some 200 biblical references to anointing oils, plant-based emollients, ointments, incense, aromatics, or the plants these agents are derived from. It, it was the very fabric of their culture. Absolutely. They couldn't imagine life without these plants. Frankincense, myrrh, salbanum, cinnamon is mentioned in the Bible, cassia, rosemary, hyssop, and spikenard are among the most common ones mentioned. Let's give you a little example. In Psalms 133.2, and I'm paraphrasing, uh, the psalmist writes, How precious it is when our brothers come together in unity. It's like the precious oil upon our head. That's a pretty high esteem when we come together in unity to compare it with an essential oil put on our heads. Ecclesiastes 9, 7 through 8. Have a cheerful heart. God approves your works and do not spare the oil upon your head. It's a reward for living a good life. The purity and the cleansing of the head. In Numbers 16, 46 to 50, Moses instructs Aaron to light frankincense to make atonement because the plagues of Egypt are about to begin. Mark yourself with the, the burning of frankincense to protect. In the New Testament, it speaks of the three wise men presenting the Christ child with frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Of course, gold is not an essential oil, but it's still popular, isn't it? That hasn't lost popularity one bit. And the anointing of the Christ child was spikenard. So this is part of our essence in the Judeo-Christian history. And I think we need to bring these things back and use them again because they have true value. Now let's talk a little bit about how the modern oils are produced. There are many, many factors involved in production of quality essential oils. A wide variety of safe plant products are used, the place of their growth, 
You know, one species of plant may grow well and optimal in one geographical region, and it may grow fine in another, but it doesn't produce the exact same molecular composition. So place of growth plays a, uh, an important role because as an essential oil becomes popular, they want to plant it wherever they can. But the traditional place of growth is often what made the essential oil so popular and replacing it with another location may not be exactly the same. Does that make sense? Because it's a consideration. The time of harvest, is it harvested at peak quality? Is it too early, too late? This type of thing, sometimes they can't help it due to weather conditions. If it's raining in the fields, it has to be delayed. You know, this is true for all agricultural products. All of this matters. Agricultural practices, uh, the species and subspecies of plants, when a, uh, a plant becomes very popular and produces a very luxurious, like lavender, the very popular lavender, you will have a subspecies of, of related plant to lavender, but it's not quite the same, but it's similar in smell, so it can be a counterfeit. All of this applies. All of these factors apply, and the essential oils come from every continent. It's probably not in Antarctica. I don't think they're making much there, but all the other continents contribute, and virtually every country in the world contributes some type of essential oil, a lot of competition. Traditional harvest at peak quality and time, there's a lot of tradition in this, and often the essential oil plants are harvested with the traditional agricultural methods. Not always. Uh, in today's world, they often use combines, but that's okay because a lot of people want to share with these essential oils. And remember, there's a large quantity of plant to produce its essence in small quantities. They're very powerful. Steam distillation is still the most common and still generally the best way to create essential oils. And consider steam distillation a sign of quality. The steam is passed through the plant. The steam and plant products condense on the water of the uh, steam that condenses down and the essential oil is skimmed off the top. We have the other methods, and sometimes they are best, but generally the steam distillation is best. Now, a question I have been asked several times is exactly how do these essential oils work? Is there a physiology involved? I walk into the, I remember as a child, I would come home from school and my mother may have made cookies for us for a snack. And you walk into the kitchen or the home and you smell this, and it creates such a sense of peace, loving, and care. You, you remember those days? And to this very day, if I smell an oatmeal cookie, it takes me back. What is the physiology of that? It's most fascinating. Listen, the olfactory nerve is activated. It's thought either by a lock and key mechanism, you know, the oatmeal cookie smell or the essential oil smell. Uh, as it acts as the key, it opens the lock concept and it triggers a nerve impulse. Other scientists believe that it is the vibrational energy of the oatmeal molecule or the essential oil. It's probably both the vibrational energy of the essential oil along with the lock and key. What it does, it stimulates the olfactory bulb. This is the next nerve in the sequence. That stimulates the gustatory center, and this stimulates both the amygdala and the limbic system. Now stay with me, this will make sense. The amygdala awakens emotional memories. So when you breathe in the scent, it automatically triggers an emotional memory, the comfort of mother, nourishment that mother provides. It's a direct communication. The limbic system is in direct communication with the thalamus, the hypothalamus and the corpus callosum. Now, these centers communicate with those centers that controls heart rate, respiration, hormone regulation, stress response, immunity, digestion, metabolism, catabolism, and more. So put in simple words, the sense of smell leads to automatic brain reactions. The other senses lead to thoughts that may lead to other body reactions, but only the sense of smell leads to a direct cascade of events that can change hormones, uh, autonomic nervous control, such as blood pressure, digestion, sweating, calmness, mood, and on and on and on. All these things that our body does without us thinking about it can all be stimulated with the sense of smell. 
Isn't that amazing? And you know, Cindy, Cindy's been working for months and years on this project, and she's always playing with them. And when I come in to the home or go into her office at work, it's full of these aromas, and it just lifts my spirit. And I just love it so. And to me, the science guy, understanding how all that works, well, it just kind of makes things complete, doesn't it? It's just so, so neat. So the nose connects to the brain that controls a wide variety of other functions. The other senses, you have to think about it. You know, when you feel heat, you might remember, you know, I remember that day at the beach. That was nice. But when you smell the suntan oil, it takes you right there. Isn't that amazing how it works? That's how essential oils work. We'll have more in just a minute. We'll be right back. your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Each year, more than 76 million Americans contract food poisoning. Most cases are caused by tainted fruits and vegetables, especially contaminated leafy lettuce. But poultry causes the most food poisoning related deaths. To prevent food poisoning, follow these simple rules. Thoroughly wash all fruits and vegetables. When preparing any kind of meat, wash your hands, utensils, and work area before preparing any other food. Cook thoroughly chicken and ground meats. Store leftovers in the refrigerator immediately. Look for expiration dates when you shop. If you use reusable grocery totes, wash them periodically. And finally, use spices such as garlic and oregano to inhibit the growth of bacteria that cause food poisoning. Food safety lowers your risk significantly of getting sick. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back, everyone, having a fascinating discussion on essential oils, and I'm very, very excited to bring to you now BioInnovations has its own line called Reprieve essential oils. These are pure, pure essences. Pure essential oils organically sourced when possible, if not the purest that there is. Fantastic. We have a complete array. We'll get into that later, but I don't want you to miss it today. You need to call in because the prices are fantastic. So Richard, we've talked a lot about the oils. We understand how they work, and that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That whole description about how the olfactory bulb works, that really makes yeah, sense. It is and I know everyone is going to really understand it now. Yeah. So how do we take advantage of these? How do we use them? 
Well, a diffuser is often used. It's like a, a vaporizer kind of, of sorts. You put the pure essential oil right into the uh, uh, diffuser and it aerosolizes into the room. This leads to the direct stimulation of the brain and all those connections we talked about, but it also goes into the lung, the airway, and there are true um, physiologic reactions. See, the lung is not just about gas exchange. It plays a major role in our immunity and in our hormone system, so you have a direct effect there as well. We can also apply the essential oils to our skin with some caveats here. This is a very effective way to use essential oils and it is safe as long as the essential oil is diluted by a carrier oil. Let me repeat that. Applying essential oils to the skin is safe as long as you dilute it in a carrier oil and you protect the essential oil from oxidation degradation. Some of the oils when they oxidize if they're allowed to go rancid they can make you sensitive to the sun or they can cause a contact dermatitis. We don't want that. Keep them fresh, keep them cool, keep the bottle tightly sealed so they do not oxidize. You won't have a problem with that. A one to 5% essential oil in carrier solution, one to 5% is almost always safe. And I, let me remind everybody, there are no extremely toxic essential oils. There are a few, not of the common ones, that you need to be careful with. We're not talking about any of those today. As we progress in our essential oil studies, we will talk about some of those because they perform functions that many of you can benefit as long as you know the rules to keep it safe. Does that make sense? I want to be clear. What we're talking about today is generally regarded as safe and just about anybody can use. Now, the next way to use essential oils is through oral consumption. Yes, drinking them. Caution. This is an accepted and ancient practice. It's been done for thousands of years. And we do it today, and you may not realize it. Anytime you drink a Sprite, a 7 Up, a flavored cola, you're drinking essential oils. But it's a very small amount, and they must be greatly diluted. There are some 400 different essential oils, and remember, they're very concentrated. And please be advised of the concept of the dose makes the poison. And I want to be clear about this. Essential oils are highly concentrated. 5,000 pounds of rose petal, 2 pounds of essential oil. Some plants have toxic substances in them. If we concentrate them too much, our bodies can't handle that. So the dose makes the poison. Let me give you an example. If I take my blood pressure pill, for example, say that's 10 milligrams. I take the 10 milligrams, it controls my blood pressure. I'm fine, I have no side effects. But if I take five grams, thousands of times that dose, it becomes a poison. I could die from that. Makes sense, the dose makes the poison. Since essential oils are so concentrated and since some of them can cause drug interactions and uh, toxic effects in some people, I advise you not to use essential oils orally, internally, without the help of a physician or a skilled practitioner who knows how to use essential oils. You can do it but get the expert advice so you don't have problems. So you use the safe ones at doses that are not toxic. I hope that makes sense, and I hope it does not dissuade anyone from using an essential oil in their diffuser or on the skin, because that is almost always entirely safe for everyone. Make sense to me? I want to know because Absolutely. Uh, we need Absolutely. to know the truth about this. And that's as, as mm -hmm. close to the truth as I can say with my feeble mind. Okay, so that's the rules on that. Next, how do the essential oils permeate the skin? Well, the fat lipid content of the oil goes right into the bilayer of the cell, into the inner workings of the cell where it has its action. This happens on the skin. It happens in the nose, that's how you stimulate the olfactory bulb. It also occurs into the lungs and throughout the body as you use them. Scientists have studied this and explained it very thoroughly. Now, what is it when they say it's neat? What does neat mean? Neat means that you use it straight on the skin. The pure essential the pure oil, essential with, no oil with no dilution. The pure essential oil with no dilution, putting it right on yes. the skin. I'd be careful with that. Right. It's best to dilute it. Now, you use the neat, the pure essential oil in the diffuser 
Right. Why do we do that? Because the oil's molecule will clog up your diffuser and you will not be happy. Yeah, the carrier oil, like mm -hmm. the fractionated coconut mm -hmm. or jojoba, it doesn't aerosolize as well, so it stays behind and plugs right. up. So we use the NEAT in the diffuser. That makes sense. That's not hard to understand. What are our best carrier oils? Cindy, you have found. I really like organic jojoba oil and fractionated coconut oil, of which fractionated coconut oil is my favorite. Yes. It's really great. It doesn't clog your pores. It works really well, but you know which one I like even better? What? Our own Bionutrients black seed oil. It's tremendous. That one works amazing as a carrier oil as well. Haven't you noticed that when you choose the right carrier oil, mm -hmm. it amplifies the power You know, it does, Richard. Oil. It really does. Especially yeah. for any of your pains, when we get to our types, yes. when we start talking about the pain blends, that black seed oil is just tremendous. tremendous. Now, I mentioned before the break, oh, quickly, let's do this, a 1% to 5% solution of essential oil and carrier oil is almost always safe for our common essential oils. How do we do that? Start with one ounce of carrier oil. That's 30 cc's or two tablespoons, one ounce. If you add one drop of essential oil, that's a 0.1% solution. 10 drops is a 1% solution. 20 drops is 2%. Are you getting the pattern? Three drops, 30 drops is 3%, 40 drops, 4%, 50 drops is 5%. Now, drop size does vary, but this is an average. So 10 drops is 1%. 50 drops is 5, and you can correlate in between. Stay between 1 and 5% on your carrier oil, uh, essential oil solutions, and you'll be safe and fine for skin use. Let's go to our break. We'll be back with more. nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. When we struggle with disease and painful health conditions, we can become overwhelmed with negative thoughts. We may even develop depression. The Apostle Paul offered guidelines to help us preserve a positive attitude during times of trouble. He wrote in Philippians 4 verse 8, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thinking positive thoughts is the first step toward overcoming worry, even depression. Proverbs 17 verse 22 reminds us, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Remember these words of wisdom as you face your health challenges. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Have you heard about the health promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. 
Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone. Today, we're introducing BioInnovation's Reprieve Essential Oils. These are 100% pure essential oils, organically sourced where possible, if not the utmost purity. So this is a fantastic day. And you've got to call in today because the best prices you're going to find anywhere. So, Richard, we've covered a lot of material, but let's talk now about who could benefit from adding essential oils to their plan. You know, just about anyone can benefit from essential oils therapeutic potential. If you have pain from virtually any source, inflammation, swelling from any source, any of the arthritis, you know, this joint pain, getting old ain't for sissies, is it, folks? Do we just sit at home and suffer? No, do these things and re-engage in life. Every little thing you do will make a difference with these arthritis and joint pains. Headaches, stress, anxiety, depression, and mood support. Lift yourself up. This really does work, and it works quickly. It's impressive. Infections and immune stimulation. Uh, you know, you come down with the flu, put in your diffuser. Uh, if somebody in the family has an infection, do a little preventive diffuser and spray a little on your hands to help disinfect. Uh, purification. Digestion and indigestion, intestinal problems, everything from irritable bowel all the way up to inflammatory bowel disease, you can find some relief and assistance with essential oils. Cardiovascular disease, we, can eat, we have studies now that show you can actually lower blood pressure and stress on the heart with diffusing essential oils. Isn't this impressive? Lower the blood pressure. You can lower elevated cholesterol. You know which one does this? Bergamot like they use an Earl Grey, tea, uh, Earl Grey tea, pardon me, diffuse the bergamot, it helps to lower cholesterol. It's amazing. We'll talk more about that stuff as we go down the road. A wide variety of cancers, and folks, keep in mind, it's not just support of the cancer patient. There are as many proven anti-cancer benefits to plants. We talk about this on this program all the time. Skin and hair conditions, anti-aging, bug bites, and much, much more. All the way from the very elderly down to small children, even infants. I would not put essential oils on the face of a child. Put it on the feet of the child. Then you're going to be good there. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'll never forget the time when your mother broke her hip, That's right. remember? Mm -hmm. And she was at the hospital and she was having such pain. Mm -hmm. And of course that bothers us because we live in the world of relieving suffering. And Cindy brought out her concoctions of essential oils, went in there, put a little dab on the thigh and on her wrist, and your mother fell asleep within 30 minutes, woke up a couple hours later and says, boy, I feel better. What'd you do? And you said? Well, not only that, she stood up. She stood that up, That was too. just amazing. The physical therapist came in and was just astonished. She was yes. able to stand. Yes. You know, they want to get them moving quickly after a hip replacement Oh, absolutely. Surgery. It's imperative. But her pain was unbearable. It was just really unbearable. It, yeah, it was very painful. And, uh, but it helped. It helped. It helped tremendously. It really does. Right. Isn't that amazing? And the hospital room smelled wonderfully. It smelled better. <laughs> Much better. Yes. Much better. Now... You have something very special developed for the folks. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what you prepared for them. Well, honey, you know, the, one of the first questions is going to be, where do I start? There's so much yes. to this, and it can be confusing. And I think something to remember is not be afraid of it. It just You just kind of dive in, but you still need a place to start that's reasonable for you. Right. So we've put together a starter package, if you will, a starter kit, which uh -huh. I don't... You know, I think this is really a great, great place for people to start. It's comprised of five blends and five single oils. These are all pure oils. So okay. these all are pure. not to be used directly on the skin. You do want to use a carrier oil should you with any of these, whether it be a blend or a single. But that makes or it cost effective too. It makes it cost effective. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So we can use our straight oil, whether it's a blend or a single, in a diffuser. Or you can use it with a carrier oil, dilute a little bit. I put a few drops of carrier in the palm of my hand. I'll add my blend to it, apply it directly to my wrist, or maybe it's an aching knee, maybe my temples if I have a headache, etc. Or alternatively, I'll take that oil and or that blend and I will diffuse it. And that just makes the whole yes, room smell good wonderful. and it gives everyone the benefit. So 
what is in our starter kit. This is amazing. So let's do the blends first. We have what we call a cleanse blend. This one's amazing. A lot of you who are familiar with oils will be very familiar with one called Thieves that sold all across the country. That's that one, you know, the story of the thieves during the bubonic plague era who would rub these oils or put these plants around their neck to keep themselves from getting sick while they went and robbed the poor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I know time is short to go into the elements of each one, but that's what we are calling cleanse. It's fantastic. Then we have one defense. What is defense? That's for immunity and immunity, it works. I'll take and make a little hydrosol in a small little uh, atomizer and I'll spray my airline seat when I go sit on my on the plane. That's a good idea. And now I That's don't get sick idea. when I fly anymore. Isn't that tremendous? That's defense. Then focus. Focus is my favorite. We actually had that going this morning in the restroom of our house while we were getting is ready that for what the that show. Was? That well, was I focus. Up. When you put that on, I perked up. I said, let's go make I know. a show. And look what a fantastic show you've yeah. made. They That's work. The, fo they the work. focus is one of our favorites at the office as well. We'll put that on in the customer service center in the mornings. Girls love it, love it. Then we have relief, because you know why everyone has pain? This is inspired by the blend that I made for my mother when she broke yes. her hip in the hospital. And last but not least is rest, which will help you sleep. This one is really amazing. Of course, it's going to feature lavender, marjoram, and palo santo, and bergamot, yeah. which really just helps you put that just let it soothe go. Soothe down and go to sleep. And stay asleep, And too. stay asleep through the night. And then you wake up refreshed. Yes. Where sleeping pills, you wake up groggy. Oh, yeah. And then Who you need another that? one the next right? night. Right? And that. then we've got the five singles in this kit, bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, lavender, and of course, the sacred frankincense. You know, the frankincense lifts your energy throughout. It does. It does. It's, it's an amazing substance, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, then we have the fractionated coconut oil for the carrier oil. I want you to have that. I realize that a lot of people will tell you that you can use various oils straight on the skin. And I mean, it's true with certain types, whatever you might. We just don't want you to. We want you to dilute it. We think it will work better for you. Then you don't have to worry about this bottle is neat, this one is not. Yes. Don't even worry about it. Just always dilute. That's what I do when I find it works really well. Seal them up tight. Keep Seal them out them of the tight. sun. They right. last a long time then. Right. Well, let's go to our break. We'll return for our closing remarks. We'll be right back. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. 
vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States, chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder, we have the Reprieve Essential Oils. Fantastic, at a great price. Don't miss out on that one. I want to review with you what's in that starter kit. This is amazing. Five blends, five singles, and a carrier oil. Cleanse, defense, focus, relief, and rest. We all need to rest, don't we? And the single oils, bergamot, geranium, which smells amazing, eucalyptus, lavender, and frankincense all have fantastic health benefits. Now, we also have quite a few other blends that we don't have time to go through what, how each of them work, but these are amazing. Balance for women, don't miss that one with Clary Sage. Headache relief, move for energy, tranquility if you just wanna have a nice, tranquil environment. Unwind to help you relax, vitality for energy, and then we also have the fractionated coconut oil. You don't wanna miss that one. The single oils, Richard, these are amazing, yes. peppermint. Peppermint's amazing. Lemon, like you said, the number one used worldwide. Yes. Lavender, eucalyptus, clove. We all need clove when we have a toothache, don't we? Boy, no, we Marjoram. Haven't. Marjoram is great for relaxing. Mm -hmm. Alang Alang, make your own perfumes and scents at home with Alang Alang. Bergamot, geranium, grapefruit, rosemary, sweet orange, frankincense, and tea tree. These are all the singles. So we have a wide variety. So, so you could take these single pure essential oils. Mm -hmm and experiment and make your own you combinations sure to diffuse in your room based on whatever your personal needs are. Right. And that's okay to do. Have some right? fun with it. Yes, oh, it, yes. yes, sir. And then we can take these essential oils, the pure essential oil, mix it in the carrier oil and apply to the skin. Right. And that's Just okay to Just a small use. spot. Just a small spot. Inner wrist work, temples. Yes, yes. Maybe your low back if you're having a backache, maybe your knee if you have a joint pain somewhere on your body, or, you know, the back of your neck is really good if you need something to help you sleep. You know, Cindy, Headache. I have to compliment you. You Thank have you. gone above and beyond. She has worked on this literally for years because she wanted to get it right the first time that's right and honey you really have i'm so Thank proud you. of you that's right and they're organically sourced that's what's really really amazing yeah, as that's much not as so possible. easy to find no it has taken a lot but it's really interesting to go around the world yes it from is. my desk that is <laughs> well folks the essential oils have an ancient history of safe use incorporate them into your health see you tomorrow folks bye-bye thanks everyone bye-bye Did you know not all bacteria is bad? Probiotics are healthy, beneficial bacteria which provide life-giving support for your intestines. Add foods like fermented cabbage, coconut, or miso that supports the good bacterial balance in your gut. Real foods like this boost your nutrient assimilation. Plus, you'll feel great. It's not crazy, just healthy. Next time, I welcome to the three my good friend, Pastor Lorana Turnbow of Lionheart Church, as we tackle the controversial and often divisive issue of women in ministry. You know, yes, my husband is powerful. Yes, he has great revelation. This is not a competition. Right. I compliment him, <laughs> you know, right. and right. that I am 